live here on our big broadcast, coast to coast and border to border on TuneIn, iTunes, and iHeartRadio today with a uh, very special guest. We've got WWE Hall of Famer Hillbilly Jim joining us, and uh, Hillbilly Jim is getting ready to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, and uh, we were nice enough and uh, uh, happy enough, and uh, just uh, I'm just beaming being able to talk to the uh, to the legend. Um, Hill Billy, talk to us a little bit about what's going on, my friend, because I know you're getting ready to be put in the WWE Hall of Fame in New Orleans in uh, well, April 6th, man. Kind words and, and good day to you and all your listeners, wherever you may be. I, I, I'm I, about as, uh, I, I don't know, there's all kinds of words you think about at times like this. Uh, I was kind of, I was, I was, of course you're happy, and it's just an amazing story. Get somebody to call you and tell you they're going to do that, put you in that Hall of Fame. But stunned is another word, and I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to really uh, address all that, and I'm trying to uh, put all that in some kind of place where I can uh, compose myself o- over, if you will, because I've had a lot of good friends call me and wish me congratulations on that Hall of Fame. And uh, you know, I found out some. I think it's more people. Well, more people seem to take joy in it than I would have ever believed. They all seem to be so happy and genuine, especially my friends and. And buddies and stuff, so it's a, it's, a, it's a big honor, I'll tell you. Big one. We've got a uh, great guest with us today. He joins us on the telephone, Hillbilly Jim. He will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in the ceremony taking place on Friday, April 6th at the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. The induction ceremony will stream live on the WWE Network at 8 p.m. Eastern, and USA Network will also broadcast a special presentation of the Hall of Fame on Saturday, April 7th at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, and uh, Monday, April 9th, at 11 p.m. Eastern, immediately following Monday Night Raw. And um, you have got a heck of a career. Um, I remember watching you as as a young lad, and uh, you, you basically have lasted all of these years. Tell me a little bit about how why you think that this character and, and everything has uh, spanned all these years and, and been able to really connect with everybody. Well, I mean, you know, in these last few days, this has really, this has really been been in my mind. I've been pondering all this around and trying to, uh, trying to put this all in some place and compose myself and think about my life. And because I'll be honest with you, brother, I don't really think about the past a lot, day to day, unless someone brings it up to me. And on this occasion, everybody's talking about it, so I <laughs> had a little time to do some thinking and. <laughs> Oh, there's a whole lot of things that that that, uh, that that came into play for that. I think the one thing about me, Hillbilly Jim, the Hillbilly Jim character, is I immediately connected with the people, and uh, it was a genuine connection because uh, I couldn't have done it, of course, without all the wonderful fans. And I'm the yeah. first and foremost. I've said that. I've, I've campaigned on that. I've championed that all my life, and I mean it now even more. So that is the thing that's probably the strongest that's helped me out and, and, and maybe my, my maybe my, my character of Hillbilly Jim is a very seems like a very approachable character because really in effect that's, that's the way I really am anyway and I enjoy that so it was not a stretch for me to ever have to uh, you know do the Hillbilly Jim thing because it was just kind of like a little uh, it was kind of like a little part of me that was easy for me to do in other words I didn't have to take it off when I came home and put it in the yeah. closet and put time to go back to the arena. And I'm the kind of guy, if you look at my character, instead of it being one of those characters that pushes you away, it's one of those characters that says, come on, be a part of this. You know, I welcome my, my fans. So I think that's probably uh, the one thing that's kind of endeared me to the fans a lot, you know. We've got Hillbilly Jim with us today, WWE Hall of Famer. And uh, we've, we've got a couple questions on social media that I want to run by you, my friend. Um, one, uh, w- do you do uh, seminars or anything? Because I know a lot of these, a lot of these old, old Hall of Famers, uh, a lot of these legends are out there doing seminars across the country. Uh, do you do, well, you know, do, you I, do I, those? I, you, I, have, I have been in a situation where I haven't been out a whole lot and done a lot of stuff. Now, I can do things. And I have over the years done certain, done certain appearances and whatnot, and talks and what, whatever comes up. But, but generally, like I say, I kind of have moved on about my, in my life and, and yeah. have done my own life because I believe life is about living. And yeah. I think it's like about living in the now. So, so I, I still go out from time to time, 
like I say, do the autograph shows and things like that. And uh, since I've, you know, since I got a new book out last year, I've been, I did a lot of book appearances on my book. Yeah. And uh, and and I am not adverse to going out and doing those. It's just if I got the time, and I got to tell you something, it all depends with me on whether or not I want to go or not. <laughs> I'm in a situation like that. Because I tell you, I think a lot now these days about do I want to go to the airport? <laughs> Do I want to go through all that hassle? Yes. Because it, it, it was bad in my day, but it seems to be twice as difficult now to travel as it ever did before. You know, and and I I am real I'm real careful on whether I commit myself on number one is it something I want to do, and where is it going to be at? How far am I going to have to travel to do it? Because you know, over those years I traveled so much, I don't really care for that. The, the, the listeners probably don't know this, but there was one time back in the 80s when I wrestled 63 straight nights. Wow. I did 63 straight nights all around the country, North America, wherever we were at, and I flew 53 of those 63. Wow. Days. So, you know, I kind of... <laughs> yeah, kinda yeah, you would pick and choose days. after that, my friend. Yeah, I pick and choose. So, so after this, I'm sure I'm going to go out... Because I've got such a response from folks, it's been it actually, for the lack of a better word, it's been very it's been very touching and very heartwarming. And for you guys to say all those nice things about me, it's really that's really great. But I but I want to say this to you. Yes, I'm not going in the Hall of Fame. We're all going in the Hall of Fame. That's well, and doing. that's that's the thing that people love about you. We've got Hillbilly Jim with us today. He uh, is going to be uh, inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in April. Um, uh, another question we had on social media was, do you get to pick the person that inducts you, or do you, are you given a list? How does that work? Here's what was told me before I ever even got to even ponder or consider that. Someone said, we've already got who we want to do it. And they, want, they haven't told me. <laughs> okay. They said, no, we, we, they, they said we're, we're, we're going to wait till closer to the event to surprise you on it. And I don't have no idea who it would be. I didn't have a chance. You know, you can go you can go, you can can go, go keep it safe and keep it one of the boys in the business or, or somebody like that, and, and that'd be good. Or, or, you know, if it was me, I would have probably got some – Someone from a different facet of my life to have done it, or someone from another part of my life, and uh, and gave them a chance to come down and maybe enjoy a little bit of this with me. But but I don't know who's going to do it. But they and they haven't told me yet. So I guess we're all going to find out when we find out. <laughs> We've got Hillbilly Jim with us today. Now, Hillbilly, you mentioned your book. I want to talk about your book. Um, this this book, I read it. It was absolutely incredible. Tell me a little bit about the writing process for the book. Well, well, first of all, I would have never, ever, ever, if you knew me and you know me, I'll just tell everybody now, I would have never, ever considered asking someone to do a book on me. That was not. That was never on my. That was never on my landscape because. Because I'm just not I'm just not like that. Someone came to the guy Gary West that wrote this book came to me, and he had to really work on me to get me to want to commit to this. He had yeah. to really because I said Gary, why do you want to do this? He said I want to do it. And he said he told me told me why. He gave me some of his sources. One was another good friend of mine who was in the radio business down here in Kentucky, who was a real big advocate of me, and he he had to impress upon me. I said why why would you want to do it on me? And so we began the journey. And, uh, and, and and that's the way it goes. And luckily, in a book like that, I was one of the only guys in the business that I knew of. I might be the only guy in the business. I always carried a camera with me. All these places I went to. And I would take pictures with the guys and certain celebrities and people we would meet and situations and things. And that turned out to be a windfall when we did this. Because many of the photos in that book are my own personal photos. Yes. And, and yes. And we... We went through about 400 of them to the side on the ones you can only put so many in. And uh, Gary West and I, uh, and I think uh, I think the editor of the book uh, from the uh, from the from the Lions Press, they they uh, uh, they they looked through this over acclaim press rather. I'm sorry, I'll be okay. Uh, they looked through the through the photos and decided what they want. So it's it's just been. I always thought when I was a kid growing up, you got to understand. Someone with a book would be someone like a president, yes, or a famous uh, or a famous like Babe Ruth or somebody. I would have never dreamed it would have been me. Well, and that's one thing 
that I, I love about you, I love about the book, is that you took you took pictures when you were when 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 you were doing all this. And there are so many guys nowadays that I talk to and that I know in in pro wrestling and even, you know, in music and things like that. And I'm like they're like, Well, I got to meet so and so and I'm like, Did you get a picture? And they're like, Well, I don't want to come off as a fan. I don't want to come off as a mark. And I'm like when are you ever going to meet this person ever again? <laughs> hey, hey, you could say you met Elvis, or you could say I hung out with the Beatles. If you got a picture to prove it, nobody believes. Exactly, that. and that's and that's the thing I loved about the book. Listen, I, listen, I have no problem asking for a photo. A photo is great. I love taking photos. That's what we're all about. And now you were right, and as it turns out, this many years later, I was right because. That turns out to be something you only get one chance at. And if you don't take advantage of it, it's like dust in the wind. It's gone. Exactly. Exactly. Hillbilly Jim with us today here on iHeartRadio and AMFM 24-7. And uh, he's going to go in the Hall of Fame. He's got a bang-up book. Uh, th- this this book is incredibly well-written. Uh, the photos, like you were saying, are just incredible in this book. Um, you mentioned that that you had taken a, a, you know a, millions of photos, and you had you could only put so many in. What were some right. of the ones that you didn't put in? Well, the, 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 there were some other guys that I kind of wanted to have in there that I had some uh, of some of the of some of the maybe current guys that I think maybe they might have had some other kind of a picture of, uh, of them some kind of way. But uh, he chose he chose different ones. I also had some uh, I had some more personal photos of some friends and stuff that I kind of that I kind of wanted to get in there. But but you know you you, can't, you got to be careful about putting too many of your own personal friends in there unless you got a story in the book about it so people can keep up with it. So those were the ones. That, uh, uh, most of the celebrities I think I was looking and didn't find. There were some other there were some other celebrities that I had some photos of, like Willie Nelson, me and Waylon Jennings and. There were a few more that I had one time from him years ago. That's pretty and, cool. And, you know, I, I couldn't find that, that, uh, that collection of photos until after the book I already went to press, or I would have them in there as well. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. He'll Billy Jim with us today. He's going to go in the WWE Hall of Fame in April, and uh, WrestleMania is uh, that weekend. Uh, have, how many WrestleManias uh, have you attended, or do you, or do you try to attend all of them? I have I have attended probably this this is going to be thirty four coming up I would wow. say there's been at least twenty five I have attended twenty four to twenty six I bet you I it will be it will be it will be a difficult to give you a hard count until I started really going down and sitting down and looking but I think it's been that many of them and I would I would be there in some capacity a lot of times the WWE just has us come in you know yeah you know, the guys the guys from yesteryear. And and uh, and if you happen to be on the car, that's a different thing, you know. But 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 usually they just have us down there for any of these. Uh, they just like to bring you in for the weekend. It's kind of like Super Bowl weekend or something. You know? <laughs> and uh, and uh, it, it, it's a matter of fact, when you know this, when when WrestleMania comes to your town, it generates over a hundred million dollars for the week. Yes, it's like the Olympics. So it's a big deal. It's kind of a big deal to, to New Orleans, whatever city. Last year we were in Orlando, so. So, uh, you know, it's been great. But, you know, i got to say something to you, to you listeners. Look, this that they're giving me is, is it, it, it's, very, it's very heartwarming because I was not expecting this, and I'm not the kind of guy, you don't ever start on a journey like this thinking you're going to, I'm going to wind up in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Nobody would dream, but you don't dream something like that. It just has to be an amazing series of occurrences that happens and, and all that comes together. But I feel like I've already had a Hall of Fame life. I already got to live this life. I got all the wonderfulness that this life and this business would give me. I got all the trappings that I could get from it, the notoriety, and my family got to benefit from it. So it would not be absolutely right for me to try to take this on my own because it ain't about me now. It really is not. It's about, it's, I appreciate it's in my name, but I'm doing it in the, in the honor of a lot of people, and I'll talk about it at the Hall of Fame induction. But I just want you to know that and to, to all the fans out there because I know there would be no Hillbilly Jim if it were not for the fans. And so often, too many of the guys in all the businesses, they get it twisted. They don't realize 
if the fans aren't with you and they don't support you, you don't have a, you don't have a sport or you don't have an industry. Well, and one thing uh, that that I've always liked about you, Hillbilly Jim, is you got a good head on your shoulders. Um, mm-hmm. You talk about that in the book. Um, you, you you've talked about that on interviews. Um, you're you're not one of these guys that just threw away his money uh, when he was <laughs> when he was active. You you've invested your money. You you've uh, you you're you're saving for the future. Um, what what prompted you to do all that? That hurts me when I hear friends doing that and uh, guys that I knew and rode up down the road in with and business guys and guys in entertainment and guys, guys in sports or guys in music or whatever. It really hurts me when I see those things and I think, what were you thinking? And I realize common sense is not a very common thing. Yes. A lot of people don't do it and, and you have a window of opportunity. And a lot of times people think that window is going to open back up again, my friend, but it don't open ever again like that in that way again. We've got Hillbilly Jim with us today. And uh, before we let you go, Hillbilly, um, where can people pick up your book and uh, and, and all that? Because I know that folks are uh, going to want to pick up the book. And now that you're going to be in the Hall of Fame, the ones that don't have the book are going to want to go get it. The people that do have it are going to pick it up and I'm sure read it again. You can go to hillbillygym.com. There's a website there, and follow that, navigate that, and it'll give you instructions. If you want me to sign it, they'll tell you what to do. I can endorse it, sign it any way you want me to. Also, you can go to Amazon and see it. And uh, and the writer of the book is Gary West, W-E-S-T, and it's on Acclaim Press. Fantastic. Well, Hillbilly, good yeah. luck. Yeah, thank you. I, well, am I going to see you at WrestleMania? Are you going to I, I, I do know that my uh, good, close, personal, longtime friend, Kenny Zombie Jones, is going to be in uh, New Orleans. I may be in New Orleans. Uh, Kenny I, Zombie, is, is he bringing the apocalypse with him? I That's think Kenny, name, Kenny Z. I think Kenny Zombie Jones is bringing the apocalypse with him out there to, uh, to, uh, to New Orleans. So, uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, uh, I... Thank you so much for having me on, and, and I greatly appreciate it, and, and, and thank you and, uh, and all your listeners for all the kind words and thoughts, and, and uh, you know, this is, this, is, this is a big time for me and my family and my friends and all my wrestling, wrestling fans around the world who, who have ever championed Hillbilly Jim, and uh, hey, to all the little kids out there listening to me, don't ever quit because it could happen to you, but you've got to keep trying. That's one thing I always prided myself on doing. Never look back. I just keep trying, and I get up every day, and I say every day is going to be a good day, and I try to make it happen. And and and, and at the end of the, at the end of your career, you call me on the phone and say nice things about me. We doggies. That's pretty doggone high. <laughs> well, thank you, Hillbilly. I definitely want to do this again. Maybe we'll do this after the Hall of Fame and uh, have you come back and talk about the experience of the weekend, my friend. It would be my pleasure anytime, okay? I appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful day, Hillbilly. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Be good to you and all your fans. Take care, everybody. Appreciate it.